Hello, my name is Hope Johnson, and I'm asking for your vote for supervisor in District 5 this November. I've lived in the Western Edition in District 5 for seven years, and I worked in the Financial District off and on since about 1994. I'm a renter, and I choose not to have a car in San Francisco, so I take public transportation, or I walk, or I use a car sharing service, and I highly recommend all of you try City Car Share or one of the other car sharing services, especially as we get more crowded in the city. I'm running for supervisor because our elected representatives are not making decisions that are in the best interest of the majority of residents in San Francisco. Instead, they're making uh, decisions that are in the best interest of the political power brokers, the wealthy real estate developers, and the highly paid city employees. Um, I recently completed two years of service on the Sunshine Ordinance Task Force, and I served as chair for the last year of that, and I saw what I'm talking about firsthand. The Sunshine Ordinance Task Force mediates disputes between members of the public and City Hall when people want to get public information and access to open government. We have to end the cycle of making the rich wealthier while slowly eliminating the middle class. I'll bring much needed integrity and ethics back to our city government. I'll demand accountability for the use of our taxpayer money and our bond money and make sure that it gets used for city services that we need instead of pet projects and special interests. Last year, we were asked to support a bond for street repair. This November, we're being asked for the second time within five years to support a bond for park maintenance, despite the fact that the money from the first bond for park maintenance, $47 million of it, has not been used, and the committee that is tasked with overseeing it can't get access to where or the plan for what that money is going to be used for. Where is our taxpayer money being used? These are services that should already be in the city budget. We shouldn't have to use bond money or extra taxes to pay for them. We're being asked to pay, we're being asked to pay extra taxes while Twitter receives a tax break. Hidden in the tax break deal for Twitter was also um, their own muni bus that went directly just to their location as well as a police substation in their area. Those services are paid for with taxpayer money. Taxpayers are required to foot the bill for this, although Twitter has enough money where it could also contribute something to the community by helping us provide those services in that area. In District 5, I believe that there are three main areas that need a lot of attention that I would like to work on. We need affordable housing, not just low-income housing, but affordable housing for people in San Francisco with average incomes. We also need to improve muni and public transportation, as well as improve public safety. With affordable housing, I would like to see us actually negotiate projects that build housing that's affordable, rather than allowing developers to pay a fee in lieu of building housing that's less expensive. Sustainable housing is just as important as private profit, and we need to balance those two in a better way. Um, I also support a test moratorium on condo conversions. When we convert condos, the price of that property is permanently increased, and we can't get it back. So we need to come up with creative ways to keep housing affordable. I will improve Muni service through better oversight of its budget. We approved $26 million to Muni, and yet all of that money, not one penny of it, was spent on services. It all went to other departments, such as when the police closed down streets for parades. We need to make sure that that money is used for services and not distributed to some other department. I'll work with uh, the community to improve public safety through community policing and maybe some substations for areas that we need them in for ourselves the same way that Twitter has. Uh, now is the time to bring ethics and a strong advocate for the people back to City Hall. I ask you to vote for me, Hope Johnson, this November, and I thank you for your time.